stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. Drivers, ano masabi mo, Amre? First, sa mga homophobic <laughs> remarks, <laughs> sa kanilang suspension. Ang um, alleged drivers daw, they called BTS as BIOT or BIOT. <laughs> B-I-O-T nga yung spelling nila. Eh. So, it's a Visayan term for for gay. Tapos, they, they, they said it in a derogatory way. So, masasabi ko dito, I think, magandang, magandang ginawa ng grab na sinuspend yun para maipakita na dapat inclusive tayo at saka para ma-break din yung, yung stigma. Siyempre, bio, pagtawag ng gay, hindi na dapat siyang gawing derog- derogatory term para sa, di ba? So, Magandang ginawa ng Grab na meron silang mga inclusive policies and kinu-call out nila yung mga um, mga nagbabaya. Maganda ito na merong mga popular celebrities na mga nag out kasi um, pag nagkakaroon ng momentum sa media, pag may representation and people think na ah, it's okay, it's okay naman pala. So, mas sila din nagkakaroon ng lakas loob na mag-out. Actually, hindi ko, ma- hindi ko masabing ako nag-struggle na mag-out. Uh, nag-struggle pa nga ako tanggap yung sarili ko. Kasi hindi ko siya maingat. Oh. Hindi ko naiintindihan yung concept ng babae sa lalaki. Wala nagpapaliwanag. So, yun. Tapos, ano din kami. Dysfunctional family din kami. So, hirap din siyang... Ang hirap magtanong sa magulang, lalo na wala naman yung tatay ko palagi. Ganun din yung nanay ko. Tapos, kasi lumaki ako sa Tondo, tapos it's, it is a slap area. So, ang hirap mga tao doon sa lugar namin, hindi naiintindihan yung tomboy. Yeah, I'm so, our project is called Radio Drama. So, it's a radio drama podcast um, about a family drama um, na nakasentro siya sa isang, ano, sa isang um, a trans woman na character na si Roma. So, um, parang uh, on, a, uh, on, a, uh, on a presentational level, yung, ra- yung radio drama as a form, like, ako ginusto ko siyang balikan kasi, um, so the COVID pandemic happened and then I saw how it devastated the performance community. Um, and, so, and then everyone went to, um, to, uh, to the virtual, um, to having virtual shows. But that doesn't really, um, but that doesn't really mitigate or hindi niya na hindi niya pwedeng palitan yung intimacy ng ano, yung intimacy ng um, ng ng live performance. And so, uh, so I thought of a way to circumvent yung intimacy na yon. And ano pa ba mas intimate? Tama niya sa lita sa tenga mo. So you know, I think this is the first uh, radio drama na ang story is on trans woman. It's gonna be voiced by Mela Habi John, the first. Um, Miss Trans Global 2020. Um, out, out, can't be here. So, she yung star ko, and we sort of talked about the trans voice. And, yeah. I think bilang, I think bilang mga bakla, no? At mga lesbiana, at mga trans. Like, for us, medyo, um, feeling ko, yeah, kung mapak- mapakikinggan to, um, natin, ng mga ng ating mga kapwa. I think ano um may makikita lang sila na mga ano, may makikita sila na mga traces na mga mga collective na mga experience. And I think mapapaiyak sila dahil like this year ang um, parang goal ko sa mga works ko ay ano to, to actually make people cry, to make people feel. Kasi I think um by this time after being in a pandemic for one and a half year being isolated and being torn apart from our communities. Um, there's a there's a level of desensitization. Para na desensitized tayo, na ano, na, to not feel. So na parang yeah, everything will be okay. Everything will probably be okay. Pero you know, right now things aren't that okay. So parang ngayon, I think it's there's more ano, there's more um, there's more room. There's more room for us to feel what we feel. To you know, if we feel um, hopeless or despair, it is a time to feel, to feel. I think hopeless and feel you know a kind of. I despair. agree with you. No, some people have lost that um, lost that drive to feel. 
kasi mag-isa lang o yung iba naman sobra-sobrang feelings nila na separation anxiety so nakaka-excite naman ito pero nakakatakot din kasi ako for personal experience ayoko makinig ng mga nakakaiyak or nakakaano kasi parang alam mo yun isa dalawang linggo mabigat yung feeling mo kaya as much as possible ayoko nanonood doon nakikinig naman nakakalungkot pero truly kailangan itong abangan ng ano ng mga tao Tell us in the comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. I mean, we all come from a kind of family. So I guess makaka, makaka-relate naman sa tingin ko ang mga, ano, mga cis-heterosexuals. Um, pero primarily, I've been writing pieces um, that one uh, stars or ano, has trans uh, trans folks as the lead. And I'm always, and right now, like, I really make sure that if it's a trans person character or a non-binary person character or a gay character, a trans, a non-binary, and a gay or a lesbian person play them. Yeah, that's my uh, and so uh, and so. Part I've been consciously writing and making things in mind that it's for us. I'm talking to us, to you, to uh, I'm talking to a to a trans person and a queer person and an non-binary person. So yes, I've said explicitly that radio drama is a radio drama for trans queers and non-binary folks. Tama na ting na natin yung mga maling pagdepresent ng LGBTQ sa, sa TV. TV muna tayo, ah. Kasi yun yung pinaka-broad, eh. Pero mas tumingin tayo dun sa mga tama kung paano tamang pinirarepresent. Tapos strengthen natin yung tamang pagrepresent na nakikita na natin sa media ngayon. Na, uh, usually kasi parang sina- hinahanap natin yung kulang. Pero para dun sa mga magagandang nandyan, dapat i-amplify pa natin. Magandang lesson yun. So pag may nakita tayong magandang artwork o kaya magandang story, ah, dapat uh, makapagbigay tayo ng magandang review para mapanood din yun ng mga ibang tao, mabasa din ng ibang tao. Maganda yun, Abe. Thank you. That's a very good insight. Write your own story and tell it. Pero hindi siya, for me, hindi siya, hindi siya naging mahirap kasi I'm working with baklas and ano, I'm working with my people. So it wasn't that, ano, it wasn't that, it wasn't that hard. And when we, I know, we work, I mean, I think we work as a family. So, Um, nobody needs to tell anyone what to do anymore. We just, you know, um, settle into our ano, settle into our rules. Because what we do, naman talaga, is like, tumatambay kami as ano, as as friends who love doing what we love to do. Tell us in the comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know.